So I'm here at White House Machine Tools. We're doing a series of episodes about the brother series of machines, the BT30 technology, how capable it is. And if you're a BT40 user, uh, you should be looking at these machines because they may be able to offer you considerable savings. One area on what we're talking about today, cutting out the waste, uh, improving or reducing the amount of power you use in your factory and air as a result of this BT30 brother technology. Um, Dan, it's massively important, isn't it? I mean, it has, has been even before, you know, uh, power costs went up or electricity went up. How do you achieve it and what sort of savings can people expect to make using these machines? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it is important. Uh, it's, it's obviously difficult, uh, difficult times even at home, etc. So obviously, being in a uh, manufacturing business, everything's tenfold essentially. So uh, the Brother product, um, with its dynamics and its uh, technology, really harnesses the uh, the waste and effectively decreases the the. The actual cost is. And, and how can you quantify it? I mean, let's take a general machine shop using a BT40 machine. Um, as we've said in other episodes which are available on our YouTube channel, if you take a program out of that machine and put it in yours, okay, you reduce the cycle time by, you know, maybe half or whatever the numbers are. Um, how do you then show them or demonstrate that you can also save energy? And how does it compare? Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got applications um, out on the field that have done comparisons on 40 taper machines against our 30 product, and we are uh, we obviously are seeing the cost savings on the actual power consumption of the machine. The the, the brother actually showcases that in the um, on the actual control, so you can see its uh, usage, the the uh, the voltages used over a certain time. So it's just like. Uh, looking at your, your your usage on your electric bill at home, and is there a way of reducing it or or um, illustrating it in pounds and pence? Because people want to know, you know, my okay, my BT40 machine over the course of a year it cost me ten grand in in electricity or whatever whatever it might be. How could you compare it, and could you say that ten would now be five, or that ten would be three? Or I suppose it's harder to put a figure on it. Uh, you would you would use the, the the cost of power. Essentially, you would be able to extract all the information from the actual brother con, uh, control, and then you'd be able to do a comparison of like for like between the forty and the thirty. But yeah, you will, you will expect to see a big saving on the power consumption because you're not traversing the mass. And, and is that the reasons? That was my next question. How do you do it then? How do you do it? Let's say I mean I've seen figures of. You know, they, they seem outrageous, 80, 90% saving in, in power consumption. I mean, how are you achieving that? Well, yeah, first of all, one big aspect is the mass. You're not traversing the, a, a big old lump. Um, so effectively, you, um, you're you not moving, your, your linear rails are, are, are not uh, affected by the actual weight of uh, traversing all the, uh, all the material. And effectively, the, the machine has a, a special uh, technology, we'll also cover it in the, uh, in the PowerPoint, that it harnesses that power back, similar to a, an F1 uh, style um, car. So then as it slows down, it pulls that power back, it puts it back into the actual inverter uh, technology, and then it then applies that. So when it accelerates, you've got, you're using that waste wasted power. Oh, so you're kind of saving energy and then using it again? Yeah, that's it, yeah. 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 You're almost like recycling it, I guess. Oh, effectively, you are, yeah. Okay, yeah. now that's the power. Then there's another one that's really important. And again, if you're a BT40 user, you really should be considering um, some of these aspects, what this BT30 technology can now do. Air. Yes. You know, now where are you using air on these BT30 brother machines compared to BT40? Where's the saving and how much is the saving? Yeah, so the machine isn't reliant on uh, on air so much as uh, the BT40 uh, foundations. Uh, for instance, one thing to point out is the tool changer is actually a mechanical tool changer, so it's effectively like a cam system. So uh, it releases the tool and the pull stud by driving the spindle up through a cam, which releases the pull, and then it, as it when when it reloads the tool, it then mechanically loads it. So just those little. Uh, little wind effectively equal to a big old saving when you're running it across the year in production. How significant is the two areas we've spoken about, the power and the air? How many customers have you been into? How many customers have you supplied to that you're now talking to and they're going, the reduction in consumption is just unbelievable? So the power one is is more is the main topic. I suppose air is discontinued in, 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 the, in the manufacturing environment a little bit more, but the, the, the power is definitely one that they can focus on. You can extract information from the brother uh, control uh, easily. So then when you're comparing with a, uh, with a software that uh, 
keeps an eye on the spindle running time and etc and then you've got the power consumption you can put those two in a graph and then you can see the savings of what you expect